This is the 10 Minute Contrarian Podcast. This is VP. We are a solutions based podcast diving into the world of contrarian investing and alternative finance. You can find us hosted on the No Nonsense Forex YouTube channel, nonsenseforex.com, and podcast players everywhere. Episode 40 is brought to you by Blueberry Markets. Uh, if you have been with me for any amount of time and you are not currently trading Forex, I am not sure what you're doing because it is really good right now. And I have a feeling it's going to be good for a while. Um, it's been a little wild, um, but overall, very, very good. And as we all know, your choice of broker matters greatly. So if you're outside of the United States, go with Blueberry Markets, best customer service in the business, and you can expand and grow your empire with them. They have added the top 50 most heavily traded American stocks. They have added 10 different cryptocurrencies. The best just keeps on getting better. So go to the show notes, click the Blueberry Markets link that takes you to the blog. The blog keeps you updated on everything going on. And at the very bottom of that blog is the link you need to click to get your cash bonus and your own personal customer service representative. If you still don't have a broker or you are looking for a second broker, which is always a good idea too, go with Blueberry Markets. And if you are inside the United States, I have a great option for you as well. Check the show notes for that. It is the 10-Minute Contrarian Podcast, and I thought this week we would take a break from commodities because I think going forward, call me crazy, but commodities are going to dominate the headlines and could possibly dominate a number of episodes on this podcast going forward forward. So this week, I wanted to share with you a tactic, I guess, I'm employing with my crypto portfolio. Now, if you've seen the title of this podcast episode and you want to know, well, why is this contrarian? Because who out there right now is talking about Pancake Swap or the Cake Token? Uh, that is so one year ago, um, right at the beginning of the rise of the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, which was a very interesting time uh, and a very necessary time, in my opinion, in the history of cryptocurrency um, because we saw so many brand new little DeFi companies pop up on the Binance Smart Chain. And some of them worked out and some of them did not. Um, so to me, that's a net positive going forward because all of the next generation DeFi projects that come along will have something to learn from. And we've become a little better at recognizing or being able to go somewhere that does recognize platforms that might be a little sketchy and a little higher risk. Uh, but PancakeSwap overall has withstood the test of time and they still have some really great things going on at rates that have not changed very much. So if you guys have ever read or have been tracking my uh, crypto blog to where I list my entire portfolio and any changes I make to it, you will see that I am invested in one inch, which is a DEX on the Ethereum chain. And I have become a bit less bullish on it over time. And it's not really the fault of one inch itself. It's just that there are so many more options coming about that, you know, there really is no reason for me to sit there when I can move my money somewhere else. Now, where do I move it? You know, the market's down. Uh, well, I don't know the answer to that. But what I do know is a lot of these DEX platforms, PancakeSwap and One Inch included, pretty much move up and down with the market. So they're all kind of the same right now. You know, PancakeSwap kind of did its own thing back when it was new because it really was its own thing back then. And it was very much of its time. But as the market has moved down at least, all of these things have pretty much moved down with it at the same rate. And I can easily see once we finally rebound, I can see a lot of these things going up at the same rate as well. So all of this being said, why does that make cake my token of choice? Well, because I can take that cake token and go stake it in one of their pools, their syrup pools, for anywhere from 50 to 60% return. Now, this has always been the case in some way, shape, or form uh, with PancakeSwap and their syrup pools, but for me, it was just a little bit too early to pull the trigger on something like that. You know, let me explain my risk tolerance to you as it stands right now. 
I don't do liquidity pools. I don't yield farm, but I will stake. And I will stake in a place that has been consistent for X amount of time. And if you're going to give me really high yields, the more skeptical I'm going to be. So I'm going to have to wait longer to see if this is actually the real deal. Or if this is one of those situations that we see a lot where the staking yields drop heavily over time, or it's just something that fades away because you know you weren't really supposed to get that yield in the first place. They were doing something a little fishy, uh, which during DeFi summer on the Binance Smart Chain, we saw several times. But if all of these things are going to move up and down with the market anyway, why not move my money from a DEX that's giving me nothing into one that allows me 50 to 60% staking rewards year over year. This is a pretty easy choice for me. You know, being able to get 50 to 60% return on your token is pretty extraordinary. Now, I know you can go different places and get things like this, but there's a much higher risk involved with those things. With PancakeSwap, I don't feel like it is. You know, is there still risk? Of course. Might those rates drop? Sure. You know, down to what, 30%, 40%? I'm still in. I'm still very happy to be involved. You know, so maybe you don't hold any DEX tokens right now. And if that was me, what I would do is wait for my next bull signal with the overall market to go into PancakeSwap uh, for two reasons. One, if I'm wrong, 50 to 60% yield for the year really does take the sting out of a lot of future losses. Like you can absorb a pretty decent amount of losses if you are getting 50 to 60% more tokens for the next 12 months. And then subsequently, if your signal was very good and it signifies the next run of the next bull market, well, you're getting that much more. You're getting almost a force multiplier here by choosing a token that's going to go up with the rest of the market anyway, but also give you 50 to 60% yield. So whether you are simply converting one to another or whether you are just entering fresh for the first time, that 50 to 60% really is a game changer. And even if it drops, even if it drops down to 25, 35%, something in that range, still a pretty big game changer, you know, especially if you're buy and hold like we are. So remember, this is not financial advice. Don't do anything I say. But if I had DEX tokens like One Inch, like SushiSwap, like Uniswap, and they were losing money because everything's losing money right now in the market, I would be transferring those over to Cake and at the very least generating good yield while we wait for the market to go back up. If I was not in any DEX token, I would then wait for a signal from my Bitcoin and Ethereum weekly charts to tell me that the worst might be behind us and then enter a position in cake and enjoy those benefits either way. Now I do hold Uniswap, but this is interesting. I was pretty early to Uniswap, so I am currently in profit no matter how much the market has dropped, no matter how much Uniswap has dropped, which has dropped a lot, I'm still in a pretty good profit with Uniswap. So I will not be converting those because if I do that, I will be creating a tax event, which is going to cut into that percentage yield. With one inch, I am losing my ass. So I may as well just lose my ass in a different token that can actually give me much more of it. Does this make sense? You know, it's not always the easiest thing to explain, especially to people that have never done it before. Now, when you go to the syrup pools on PancakeSwap, if this is what you want to do, you have to be careful because different pools give you different things. They don't always give you cake tokens. Sometimes the reason why the yields are so appealing is because you're going to get some random ass token that they're trying to introduce. And in turn, that's why they make the yields more enticing. But you can certainly get cake tokens from several pools right now. Um, you just have to pick the one you want. The, there's some that are automatic that will just keep rolling them over for you. There are some to where you have to actually withdraw it yourself. Um, there are plenty of YouTube videos out there that explain this. And even though some of them are a year old or maybe a little bit more even, very little has changed in the way these syrup pools actually operate.
And if you have MetaMask or Trust Wallet, like we have spoken about on this podcast before, this whole process is even easier. So I certainly hope it works and pays off for me, but I thought this week I would just share this little tactic with you. Um, it is certainly contrarian. Uh, it is certainly a bit off the radar, and it certainly carries with it a lot of great upside with not as much risk as there would normally be in this space. Uh, you know, as far as crypto goes, I am probably a bit more risk averse than the majority of you, and even I like this opportunity. Currently on DeFiSafety.com, PancakeSwap has an 82% overall score with a 100% score in the security category. So even though some things like this may seem a bit unconventional, they are well-researched, well-thought-out. And you know what? Most of the stuff we do on here is unconventional to most people. And those people are right. The things we do on this podcast are unconventional. Uh, but that doesn't make them crazy. It just makes us early. 